What's going on YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel coming at you with some pretty urgent news if you haven't heard about this. The space station coolant system crippled NASA works on the fix. Came out uh, about 36 minutes ago. This is from NBC News. I just saw something on the TV from ABC News with a little bit different reporting. I'm going to go ahead and I'll tell you what I heard and read a little bit to you here. A problem with one of the ISS cooling systems may require a spacewalk. Uh, the situation doesn't represent a life-threatening emergency, but it has required a cutback in normal operations on the orbiting outpost, NASA spokesman Josh Burley says. One of the space station's two external cooling loops, known as Loop A, shut down due to anomalous temperature imbalance on Wednesday. Byerly told NBC News that forced NASA to reroute coolant systems onto Loop B. As a result of the six per station's six-person crew had to prioritize life support systems, electrical systems, and science experiments, um, including the freezers to preserve samples. Some non-critical systems were shut down, but external equipment was working fine. So basically what they did is they're having to figure out exactly, okay, what can we cut power, what's not, what's essential, what's not essential, and let's go from here. Let's figure out what's going on. The crew was never in any danger, says Byron, to work to keep the freezers going. They're fine for the near future. Now, ABC was just talking that they might have to abandon ships, so we're not 100% sure on this. This was 36 minutes ago. Stuff changes, so if you stay with me, we're going to be watching this uh, all night long, um, as long as we can be. Hopefully, uh, you know, We'll see what happens here. Uh, okay, they think the engineers say it was caused by a malfunctioning flow control valve from the station's ammonia coolant. Um, mission managers are trying to determine whether software fix can get the valve working again or whether a spacewalk will be needed. Sorting through the issues may take a couple of days or much as a couple weeks. U.S. spacewalks were suspended after Italian astronaut Lucia Parlamento's spacesuit filled with water during the July outing, but Russian spacewalks have proceeded without problems. They've been having some issues up there on the ISS. Um, you know, prayers go out from here. Love, energy, anything you can send them. Uh, we'll be thinking about you guys. Hopefully, I know this is, uh, if you're one of the conspiracy type guys, I know, uh, what was it? I, I just read the other day, somebody said that Ed Dames was one of the guys. Something would happen with the ISS. But uh, it's just come everything. It gets more and more interesting with space, doesn't it? All right, guys, come on. Um, come back for more news. Be out of here. Much love. Is what's up in the sky at 37 www.whatsupinthesky.com. Take it easy.